Liberty, 1964 inside. What a great country we have. That we have the liberty, a severe back pain, back ache. So avoid politics. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely not talking about the politics. And I'm not saying this administration or the previous administration. Hey, good morning. A different video today. It's Saturday and it's, it's rather cold. It's windy. And my kids came uh, from college, so I'm pretty much at home. I thought of, uh, you know, doing an update. I want to sit outside a little bit, grab some sunlight, sun rays, vitamin D. They say it's not good for you. Well, actually, it's very good for you. I'm going to go grab my camping setup because I don't have currently proper uh, chairs and, you know, sitting uh, arrangement outside. And I want to, like, talk a little bit. Let me get the set up the stuff. I'll, do, I'll grab a cup of coffee as well. This is a chair that at the time when I went camping with John, we used. So you know my bikes, right? This is the current bikes that I uh, that I own. Uh, 2023 Aprilia RS660 sport bike, Italian with 100 horsepower. It's a bomb of a bike. I love it. I have it on my uh, ch uh, channel, Holy Shift SP. That's where I put the content over there on that channel because you know you don't want to mix. Uh, between different genres, people that want to see sport bikes, go see sport bikes. They want to see Harleys and vice versa. This is my 2022 Lowrider ST, Grey Ghost. It's been completely upgraded. It's stage two is start 3030, a Bassani exhaust. You just name a saddle and seat, every, you know, with audio system, you name it. You know all about it. And my new one, what is it, a 12, 2005 or four? I'm not sure, I don't remember. Uh, a Harley Softail Deuce with, with such uh, low mileage, 7,000 miles on it. Not been, I haven't been riding them too much lately because it's a lot of reasons. It's been cold and I also had the last week or two some back problems. I'll tell you all about it in a second once I set up the stuff over here. Let me get this best spot of sun. Oh, look at this chair fold. Actually, I got it after doing the camping trip once with John because he came out with this really cool. And he said, why don't you get yourself this chair? So I bought it on Amazon. But how do you, that's how you need to like uncollapse them or ex extend. Oh, oh, nice. So they fully extend. There you go. It's supposed to click. There you go. Oh, yeah. Let me try it out. Oh, man. <laughs> it actually collapsed and a very cool table for my coffee call it a coffee table yeah it comes in this little little bag i don't know that's gonna be for my coffee but i want to be recline i want to be resting because my back is uh is hurting me so uh, this is the way it goes i guess yeah there you go uh, it is pretty cool by the way oh there's little metal rods over here that's that's cool and this is not a tutorial, but that's what it looks like when it's, this is actually very cool. Let me go get my coffee and I'll tell you what's going on. It's actually very cool. The sun is out and it's about 57, 58 degrees. This is so relaxing. Anyway, aging. Let me get my coffee. That's my Berkey. That's how I have my water unfiltered with no uh, fluoride inside. I'm against fluoride. So that's what we use a Berkey system with our own uh, carbon filters. Free feel for, there you go. What are you looking at? It's my new dog, her name is Bamba. Bamba, say hello to guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is instant coffee, taste your choice. That's how I like it. The best coffee in the world. Let's go outside. Okay, anyway, coffee's ready. Let's enjoy some sun. Let me tell you. So let me tell you what's going on a little bit. So much to unpack. Anyway, my back is killing me. The last two weeks have been uh, really lower back pain and I had suffered in the past. Had a few episodes in the last year or two of uh, 
episodes where I get a severe back pain, back ache that kind of like immobilizes me. I can't do anything. I end up resting and stuff like that. Sometimes that actually impacts my my flight. Uh, I can't work. I call in sick. And if it's a really acute, after a week, if nothing helps, I do take uh, like uh, painkillers and stuff like that. But then I go to the doctor and I get uh, anti, anti-inflammatory medication, which is never really good for your digestive system. It, it kills the, the inner gut and stuff like that. For the longest time, I know already, I, I don't do that frequent. I'm not really frequent at exercising. I'm not, first of all, I don't, I don't like exercising. I don't like to go to the gym. And I'm some, a little bit somewhat lazy, but my uh, daily routine, here comes dog, here comes Bamba. Come here, Bamba. My daily routine with my flights, I don't have like a, a, a defined schedule and I can say, it, okay, every Monday and Wednesday, I'll go to the gym between four to six and then I'll do my workout because I'm, sometimes I'm at work. I fly on a Wednesday or a two or whatever and you know, when you're healthy and everything's okay and you're you're on a normal schedule and everything, you know, you neglect your health sometimes. And you only sit, once you're sick, you're really sick and you say to yourself, ah, you know what? Once I get healthy, I'm gonna stick to a routine. I'm gonna go every other day to the gym and do my workout and stuff like that. And then you, after a few weeks, you, I don't wanna say you forget about it, but it's not your routine anymore and then you, you miss out, you stay home, you get lazy a little bit, and then it catches you again. Because the biggest, the biggest thing for uh, you know, our age, maintenance of our body is to, to move, to do exercise and to strengthen the body, strengthen the muscles, because the muscles are the ones that pretty much bear all the weight of, uh, of the back. And once those muscles are weakened, you do a, a movement uh, improper, you don't move properly, you lift something heavy, or you do some kind of, you sit, sit too long in front of the computer, or in my case, sometimes I sit a few hours in front of, uh, you know, when I'm flying without moving. And that's when a, a nerve is being pinched because there's movement over there within the, you know, the vertebra, within the bones or something. And that's when you get inflammation and everything swells up and it hurts the nerve. And that's when you, the whole mess uh, starts with the back. But also, it's uh, also a matter of, of tense, being being under some kind of pressure on sometimes being nervous about something. In that aspect, the last few months for me are were rather rather tense. A lot going on. So let me let me tell you a story about that. Something interesting that just happened, and it kind of uh, I think it symbolized. I'm trying to create a story here that's gonna a thread that will thread all the pieces of the puzzle together to one story that have to do with, uh, you know, my back injury right now and uh, f the fact that I'm a, that was a little bit under stress and uh, nervous the last uh, last few weeks. Yesterday, uh, you know, I'm still with the, un under medication and stuff like that with my back. I realized that I need to swim uh, to, you know, to get into my routine because they say that swimming is actually very good, you know, for, for body my age exercise it's, it's the least impact exercise that you can have and it's actually very good for your back so i went to swim uh, a few the last week and believe it or not i uh when i swam i took i took this ring off i'll tell you something about this ring very soon i took this ring off put it on the side of the pool and did my laps and uh, once i was done i went out to the lockers and back home when i got home i realized i forgot i forgot the ring at the, the YMCA, I actually went to swim at the YMCA. My dog, look at her. What are you doing there? So I just didn't get a chance to go back to the, you know, to the gym, to the club to pick up the, uh, pick up the ring. I said, next time I'll go there, I'll pick it up. Maybe somebody found it and put it in the uh, lost and found. So a week goes by. I go to one of my flights still with uh, the back problems on medication and stuff like that. I, I was able to function, but I was like under a lot of pain. The other day, so yesterday, I get back to the uh, to the YMCA. I finish up my uh, my swim routine, and I go to the front uh, office and I say, "Did you happen to find maybe somebody found at the lost and found a ring, a silver ring?" I said to them, "It's a 90% silver ring, and they're like, is there anything special in it?" I said, "Yeah." Uh, it's wide, forgot it at the pool, and inside, if you look, it says Liberty, Liberty inside. I don't know if you can see it from here. 
but I'll try to actually put a so she looks, opens up her, her safe, and yeah, surely enough, she says somebody found it. And she looks inside and says, oh, how cool. It actually says Liberty 1964 inside. Now, if any one of you knows 1964 Liberty, and it's got little on the rim, it's got little notches. This is actually a silver, a, I think it's a half a dollar or a quarter from 1964. 1964, everything was made of, uh, up until 1964, all our money, all the US coins was made of 90% silver. That's a topic that we can talk, I can talk about forever. And actually I did, I did a video about it like two years ago, talking about silver, investing in silver, and uh, I was right. Nowadays you see the prices of silver, but I digress. Anyway, I look at the ring and it says Liberty. And I smile to myself and I think this ties everything, everything to what I was, what I was going through the last few weeks. When I was thinking of Liberty, it was just, it's just a, about a week after uh, the U.S. elections. And I thought to myself, wow, what a great, what a great country we have. That we have the liberty and the freedom that we have to decide how we want to live our lives, how our nation, our country is going to be ahead of us. It started triggering a lot of thoughts of what, you know, what was going on politically the last few years, I would say, and the stress and tension that I was in the last few weeks, even months, uh, with uh, the coming elections. And I was uh, truly concerned of how these elections would end up, and, and not in terms of who's going to be elected or what the outcome is going to be. I was kind of scared and afraid of, uh, you know, the results, if the results would, uh, first of all, if they would be uh, truthful or not, if they would be rigged or not, because there were, as you know, the last elections, there were a lot of, you know, rumors or facts or about whether the elections were uh, uh, were uh, rigged or not, and uh, the outcome, some parties, some people weren't happy with the outcome, and uh, it was a lot of tension. If these elections would create very big civil unrest after the results, and the day after the elections, I was very relieved that. Uh, it went without any major, uh, how would I say, it went calmly, without civil unrest, without uh, riots, without behavior that was uh, very stressful last, last elections. The fact that uh, these elections were, you know, they ended up with uh, the people saying they're the majority of the people saying what they what they want and that it was they say it was a landslide of uh, president elect uh, Trump winning the house winning uh, Congress winning the electoral system and also the, the popular vote I think people were kind of concerned of what was going on the last few years and I, I don't mean like the last four years but last I don't know last decade of uh, how, how the country was going in, uh, in the direction and they finally wanted a change. They finally said enough is enough. We want to fix things. We want something is not right. And I'm not saying this administration or the previous administration. I'm just talking about generally uh, the last decade, decade or so, America was going in the direction that I think the people just had enough of and they want to make to make it you know back to the glory days and 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 go back to and it, it was a pretty much a landslide of uh the people uh, the people said people had their voice i'm happy that we live in this place where we have that option and the liberty like in the ring yeah the liberty to choose our own dest destiny and uh, choose our to affect and to be able to influence our uh, 
our destiny, our direction. And I realized that I was under a, apparently a lot of stress because of uh, this whole situation. Now, additionally, I haven't posted in, a, in quite a while, and that also adds, adds some kind of uh, stress, and it all ties up to what was going on is uh it's first of all it's getting really cold and can do a lot of riding second i've noticed and i'm not the uh, not the only one a lot of uh, other creators content creators uh that harley viewership people showing interest in harley motorcycles harley riding harley culture is in has been somewhat in a decline and i don't want to attribute it and to say oh it's because of this uh, case or that case but there's been in the last few months uh, a decline in viewership and uh, it somewhat took uh, the motivation out of, uh, you know, the wind, the wind blowing my sails and having me motivated. It kind of affected it and uh, didn't have the, the, uh, the urge and the, the excitement to go out and, and do content. It, it was actually very significant when I put out videos of uh, our uh, 8,000 mile road trip coast to coast that we did this summer and I put hours and hours uh, of editing and thousands and thousands of miles of, of excitement and the views on the on the videos weren't that great and I didn't know uh, you know what it was all about was it because of Harley's I don't want to say policies but the people may be angry at Harley people may be angry of uh, certain movements that were going on in politics and stuff like that. But it, it's, I feel that it's all kind of connected to uh, people wanted a change, people wanted something different. One thing that we always say, uh, always try to avoid in business or, you know, on media is try to avoid politics, talking about politics because you're alienating, 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 yeah, you're alienating half of your in our case, half of uh, your viewers. So avoid politics. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely not talking about the politics. I'm just talking about the, you know, the general atmosphere that was going on coming into these elections and half of the country were feeling one way and believing one way and the other half of the country were feeling the other way. And I'm just like really happy that it all ended peacefully. It really ended peacefully. Our beautiful nation, that we live in and we have our freedom to choose our direction. I'm happy that that was demonstrated in the last, uh, last week, last few weeks. And I'm really hopeful that we make, uh, that we go forward and we become better and stronger than the countries around us. The whole world, it seemed like as if it was, was going a downhill. So hopefully we'll find a new direction. And again, I'm, I'm I'm not getting into politics at all. I'm not saying I'm not saying this party or that party or this figure or that figure. I'm just saying that the whole world was in a in a in a downhill and so were we the last decade or two. And hopefully we can uh you know the people, the people have said their thing. The majority of the people said their thing and they're hoping for to find a new way, a new direction. And I'm happy that it went through and it went uh peacefully and calmly and that we will start a new direction, a new vector, upward, upward vector for uh, better days, better times. I'm not trying to be all, all gloomy, but I can, like I said, uh, this whole, my back is, uh, and everything is, it all, it all ties up, it all, back that, that thread of that negativity that was uh, the last year, last few years, and now we're in a new direction going up. That's how I believe, that's how I feel. As we're also just uh, relaxing and speaking, I'm making a, doing a very big move this uh, summer, something really cool, really interesting, going through a big change. I'm doing a throwing a sale for, you know, to get rid of a lot of my uh, inventory that I have over here. Hey guys, quick break over here. I'm just getting rid of a lot of merchandise that I had stuck in my closet for such a long time. I'm giving it away at cost. I really need to move this stuff. Different designs, different sizes. www.holyshift.us. Uh, different colors, different designs. It's like 50% off because I, you know, I just wasn't dealing with it too long. I don't have time for it. I just making a big move soon. 
and something and uh, I just need to get rid of it cost it's like a uh, 13 or 15 dollars a shirt and just pay pay for the shirt and the shipping it is literally brand new got a lot of them go ahead check it out please do me a favor I just gotta move these my dog is scared of the <laughs> scared of the <laughs> that's pretty much my little rant my long rant of what was going on haven't put out much content lately. Little setup over here is actually, I did a, a very cool little camping, glamping trip with John a week or two ago, and it was, it was so much fun. A nice cabin, a nice ride to the Delaware area, made a fire, a fire pit, and we lit it up at night, and we had cooked some food, and it was, it was, it was fun. That whole little camping expedition was really a lot of fun. So I said I get ready, get the, all the stuff ready, because maybe I'll do some uh, camping when the season starts, riding season starts. Maybe I'll do some camping on the motorcycles. So, yeah, I moved the chair a little bit. <laughs> the, the shade of the tree was in, was ex fell exactly on me. Anyway, I'm, I'm happy I found this. Uh, this is actually a Kennedy coin, I think it's called. It's made of 90% uh, silver, and they made, out of that coin, they made a ring. And it's been on me four or five years when I've been uh, when I've seen the light when I've been aw uh, awakened to uh, our monetary system and uh, the value the value of precious metals and the significance of precious metals in our lives in our financial system that's the significance and it's funny like I said before the liberty I, I looked at it and I said oh shit it says liberty how significant is this in the last few days when uh when I was thinking about the elections. Come here, good doggy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at a good dog. Look how this look at this pretty dog. Look as we got her from a shelter. We got her. It's a rescue dog. So sweet, so fluffy. Her hair is so soft. But she's reckless. She's like a year old, a year and a half old. She drives Pico crazy. Pico is an old man already. He wants <laughs> he just wants to rest. She comes, she she pulls the blanket off of him and starts <laughs> She's twice his size, but she's so playful. She gives so much love, but she's reckless. She's crazy. Right, Bamba? We call her Bamba. Hmm? Look how pretty she is. Look at a pretty dog. Look how pretty she is.